Todd from Apex Base. Uh, an, another common question we get asked is, well, what two pilot shoots should I get in my original order? Well, as you can tell from the order form and from our website, we have a lot to choose from. I think there's a total of, oh, maybe 14 or 15 different pilot shoots. They vary in size, mostly, from 32 to 52 inches in diameter. They also vary in fabric style, either ZP or F111. Then there's some other subtle variations, like what type of mesh they use or if they have a vent or a handle. So let me see if I can sum up some of these things to answer some questions that you may have. Let's start at the bottom end at the 32s. The 32s are uh, definitely for the fast airspeed jumps, terminal velocity, but they also are kind of separated to the smaller canopies. So if you're jumping a 200 square foot or maybe even a 220 and a terminal velocity, yes, that might be a, the way you, you're going to go with a pilot chute for your terminal velocity jumps. Then we move into the 36s. The 36 inch pilot chutes are generally the smallest pilot chute that our, our average jumpers are going to get. These are going to be for canopies in that 260 range on up into the, the, the 300 range. Again, the 36s are only going to be used in the high airspeed terminal velocity type of jump. Both of these are available only with a handle. We only stock them with plastic handles. Uh, they are intended to be stowed. They're never handheld. That's why they have the handle. The other variation you'll find in these is they both have small mesh. So both the 32 and the 36 have a smaller mesh because they are intended for that high airspeed where the air is easily able to penetrate that tighter mesh. Then you get to the ZP vented. There is a version of ZP. Neither one of these pilot chutes we stock in a non-vented ZP configuration. So we basically have the 32 and the 36, and they are available in F111 or a vented ZP. So what's with the vent? Well, ZP is so efficient at trapping air, it can sometimes oscillate because it's trying to spill air. So what have we done? We've put a vent in the center of the pilot chute right under the handle. It allows some of the air to pass through and it reduces the oscillation. It's not going to eliminate it at some air speeds, but it definitely dampens or reduces the oscillation. So those are kind of some of our terminal velocity pilot chutes. Moving up from the 36, we move into the 38. The 38 is available in the same setup. It's either F111 or ZP vented. It too has a plastic handle. The primary difference is it's going to use large mesh. Because the 36 gets used in a lower airspeed, we put a mesh on it that allows the air to penetrate a little bit easier so that the pilot chute will inflate even in lower airspeeds. It is a little bit larger. We're moving into 38 inch diameter now. Uh, and it is typically stowed, so it's got the plastic handle. This is a new pilot chute handle that we have on, on our 36s and 32 inch pilot chute. It's basically the standard plastic handle that's now encased in a rubberized grip. So now there's no openings, there's no place for your fingers to get stuck. You can't get your fingers in any of these locations, so you can't snag it as easily. And because it's made out of a rubberized material, it's kind of anti-slip. So this is our no-slip grip. Uh, there is a piece of material that runs through the entire handle, just like on a standard pilot chute handle so that in case this pocket were ever come get torn or you know the seam come open the plastic handle cannot fall out there's a piece of material that runs inside and is bar tacked on each end so that the handle will stay firmly in place even if the pocket is ever tore open once again this is our new pocket the no slip grip you kind of see a little profile there that's our new handle it's really nice that is the last size that we stock with a plastic handle. Moving up from the 38, we get into a 42. Now the 42 is really the workhorse of base jumping. Everybody's got a 42. So if you're trying to decide which pilot chute to get the first time, it's your first set of gear, you're going to get a 42 for sure. Okay? Pretty much everyone has it. It's pretty much the middle ground. We have smaller ones, we have larger ones, but the 42 is the middle. The 42 also is available in three configurations. We have the standard F111, we have ZP with no vent, and ZP with a vent. 
42s are also sometimes handheld or sometimes they're stowed. So for these, we put on a hat. A hat is basically a patch that is used as a handle when it's stowed, but it doesn't interfere if you want to go handheld. So this is how we stock them. Uh, it does use the large mesh, like I mentioned the 38 does. So anything from the 38 getting bigger all use this large mesh because we're using it in the lower air speeds. From the 42, we move into a 46. The 46 is going to be a pretty large pilot chute. Uh, it's designed for the lower air speed and it is available in both the F-111 and ZP non-vented. The 42 vented pilot chute is the last pilot chute, working our way up here, that is vented. The 46s, 48s, and next 52s, none of those are available vented. Why? Well, why was the vent there? Well, we were trying to spill air, right? We didn't want it to oscillate, so we allowed it to spill air. Well, the 46, 48, and 52, they're used in the low airspeed. We don't want to spill any air. Any air that gets trapped inside this pilot chute, we want to keep it there. Because it's being used in the low airspeed, we don't want to spill any air, so we don't vent them. We also don't put handles on them. If you're using a 46 or larger, you should be going handheld. Now, there's a few applications for people that might go with a stowed 46, and these are going to be kind of specialty. It's really for the guys that are using their 46, like maybe someone else would use a 42. Who might do that? Now, some of these guys that are jumping these big 300 square foot or bigger canopies. So where the rest of the groups are using 42s, yeah, these guys might use a 46 because their parachute is bigger, it weighs more, we need to give them a little more pulling power, okay? Um, so 46s, F-111, or ZP. So which one should I get? Well, they work the same when they're brand new. The F-111 fabric, the 0 to 3 fabric, is basically has zero porosity when it's new. So that works. Uh, the ZP will stay at zero porosity longer. So 100 jumps from now, that ZP pilot chute will still have zero porosity. Well, the F-111 won't. It will have something probably in the range of 5, 8, maybe even 10 CFM, which is the measurement of cubic feet per minute. That's how the air passes through the fabric, or measurement of how the air passes through the fabric. Uh, we move then into the 48. 48 is just a bigger pilot chute. Again, going to be used for handheld, so there's no handle. Uh, it uses the large mesh, um, and again is used in the even lower airspeed and bigger parachutes. And then we move into the 52. The 52 is the monster. Again, not a lot of people get the 52. It's kind of like the 32. So these are the ones that are out here on the fringe, or on the, on the edges. There's not a lot of use for them, but we do have some people that need them. The 52 is really used for people that are really trying to free fall the, the extra low stuff, the ultra low free falls. I wouldn't recommend this just for any starting jumper. You really have to be committed and learn a lot of techniques before you get into these ultra low free falls. It's not just about the equipment as any of the base jumping is. It's also about the techniques that are used to make those type of jumps survivable. But again, the 52 is only available in the ZP, again, because it's only used in these ultra-low style jumps. It uses large mesh, doesn't have a handle or anything like that. Well, I hope that helps you out on a pilot chute selection. Check us out at apexbase.com if you got more questions, and we'll see you at the X point.